Dear Ben, I was thinking about you last night, wondering about Mary. Mary Harris, Infinity's 22nd victim. Wondering if Mary would tell you what I did to her, what I made her say. If she would get the details right or if she would leave out the interesting parts because she was ashamed. Infinity had a way with words. It's probably what made him interesting to Ben Stone. Yeah. My father studied him. He read and reread the letters looking for clues about, about the crimes, his life, about his traumatic childhood. What do you mean? As a boy, Infinity was forced to listen while his father raped his mother. Explains the pathology, but I don't think any of that was in the books. And Ben Stone knew that? No, my father was obsessed. I mean, he kept everything. I mean, look, letter after letter. Infinity even sent him a Father's Day card, one year. Look. Dear Ben, happy Father's Day. Signed with the infinity symbol. Take a look. Ben Stone kept it. Yeah, he did. He kept it in an evidence file so it wouldn't get smudged or torn. <laughs> of course, the idiot. He sent a card with golf clubs. And my father never played a game of golf in his life. Infinity couldn't have known that. Right. Because he knew nothing about my father. He had a relationship. There was no relationship. All those hours Ben Stone spent on the case, he spent more time with Infinity than he did with his own family. Ben Stone cared about the women who were raped. He cared about getting justice for them. You're a little confused. If you think this was about you, you're more insane than I thought. No! That's not true! I know! You know what? Inside the DA's office until the light in his office went out. Some nights he wouldn't even get in his car until after midnight. It was me he cared about, not you. Me. It was me he loved. 